everyone. Um, I'm back and I promised myself, I absolutely promised myself that I would do this, that I would finish <laughs> at least one of these paintings on camera, you know, online. And I, I finally am in the past, I've had other accounts and in the past, um, I did not finish anything online. I just, I, you know, illness and just my family's problems just stopped me dead and I did not finish it. But this time for once I am finishing it. So the purple is next. So I'm using my Moto G stylus uh, phone. And so I am going to do the purple in this and then, uh, no matter how short it is and no matter how crappy it might be because I just have the one you know camera here now I, I have my phone that's it um I am going to at least in some way even if it's partially film me taking the the paint uh the tape off so I am, and, and the last time I did this, it was actually the last time I painted this that I can recall. Um, cause, cause I painted it and then it took me quite a while to finally upload it to YouTube. And then it took me even longer to finally be able to sit down and schedule it to go live. So I think the last time I was actually physically painting this painting, um, was a year ago. Believe it or not, it's it's now April. In fact, today is Thursday, April 27th, 2023. So yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while, but that's that's just the way my life is. Uh you know, like usual, illness illness just stopped me dead. And This time, thankfully, despite everything, I'm painting anyway. I am painting anyway, and I am so glad. <laughs> I cannot tell you how glad I, I'm going to have to turn this here. And thankfully, I'm staying on camera. So, yeah, and let me, let me get the, I got to put something down here to try to save my desk. <laughs> I bought this desk forever ago for about $150. It was all the money in the world I had at the time. And actually for me, that's a significant amount of money even now. Actually, I think this desk was more close to $200, like 250 Cause it really was a significant amount. I can't even remember, but yeah, this is a computer desk that I bought forever ago in you know, the early 2000s, 2004, 2005. Actually, I bought it when we moved in here. So I actually bought this computer desk in 2004. So it's been used by my brother. It's been used by my mom, even my dad. So, yeah. So, okay, when it comes to, let me see, when it comes to this purple, I am doing indigo first, which is why it looks so dark. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of coming out almost, even though I have you, this camera that I'm using, it's not really, it's looking almost black in person. I can see the purple. I can see the purple in person, but on camera, I don't know how well that's coming. I don't know if it's coming across as more of like a really navy blue on camera which is not what I'm wanting. I, I, you know, these, uh, these phone cameras, they do color correct. And by now I could actually just put painter's tape across this. Maybe I should, I don't know. Probably should. Thankfully today, this time, um, my, my hand is not shaking. I think the last time I tried painting this, I had really shaky hands just because of what I was going through at the time health wise. But yeah, this, 
this paint is so, so good in its coverage, I might just get away with one coat because this is so dark. I mean, that would be miraculous if I actually managed to do just one coat. And that would be one incredibly short video for this at the moment. <laughs> You never know though. This this paint is kind of, especially the Reeves acrylic, that is really old so it's really kind of dried out. So it would, I mean, just the fact that it's still alive and functioning, you know, that I can still paint with it is really truly a miracle. Um, oy. Oy vey, I say. Oy vey. Oy vey urta. Sweden, and the Jewish thing smashed together in one, you know, oy vey ulta. Okay, so I got there we go, there we go. Okay, so I got this all painted up pretty much now. And now just this one last little bit, and I, I don't know, I'm, I might go ahead and go on to the next purple. Maybe I should. This, this video is only six minutes so far, and despite knowing better, I mean, I don't want to really mix the purples, because the, the next purple I'm going to do, um, this is an indigo purple. In other words, it's a bluish purple. A very bluish purple. The next purple I'm going to do is going to be a magenta purple, a very pinkish purple or reddish purple. It's going to be a purple that's more bent towards red, you know, or the red spectrum. So, there we go. So, yeah, that's 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 it this is painted up <laughs> i'm done with i'm done with this color you know i'm it's so dark uh that if i were to put another coat on top of this it would just pretty much go black so i i think i'm just gonna leave it at this um i'm calling it good so you know what? Simply um, on camera here, because there is definitely tape separating these two colors, I will definitely paint this. I don't know about the other end, but I'll definitely paint this end. And, and I know that this is very, very different compared to the way I was doing it before when I was... I forget. It's it's like I was painting it every other color or something like that, I think. But I had to to make sure that the colors were separated and that they remained separated and that they didn't get everywhere. But anyway, most of my paintings, I, I do not, you know, I get so incredibly ill and my family has problems and, you know, I just... I just finish it uh, offline. I finish it in my own personal life. And at least I, I can say, well, at least I finished it, you know, and just be proud of myself in that. And this time I was like, no, I am going to finish it on camera, online. I might as well just do this on camera, you know. So I'm just adding... There we go. I'm adding uh Quinarone, I don't know. Quina cryodone, quina cryodone magenta, I don't know what the hell. You know? So I'm adding that. Quina cryodone magenta. And this one, deep violet. I'm doing deep violet. 
I don't, it doesn't, to me, it looks like the camera's not focusing. And I'm sorry if everything is tilted. I can't get this. I had to redo the rig here. So, and the color that I just painted, these, the color that I just painted, that pretty much looks black on camera. I got dioxine purple, dioxine purple. There we go. Oh, hey, now it's almost reading it. There we go. And this really ancient Reeves violet. Reeves acrylic paint violet. So, so this, you know, was this and what I just painted. So, and now I am about to paint these two. See, let me see if it'll read it and focus it for you. I don't think it will, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't seem to be wanting to. Oh, well, I'm 11 minutes in. I spent enough time on that. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. And now to finish this sucker off. So, and the, this paint is so dry and thick straight from the tube already. All of my paint is actually that I'm not too worried. Ooh, this is turning out really pink. I was hoping it to be a bit more purpley than that. There we go. I just need to mix it. That's pretty good. That's one more pink than purple. I think I'll add a bit more of this. And I didn't expect to do co oop, color mixing on camera here. I think I might add just a dollop of this to the side just to, just in case, <laughs> just in case. Because you never know. But I definitely want it to be purpley. Yeah, see, there we go. I just need to add more of the purple color to it. That does make it quite a bit darker. That's, I'm, I'm happier with that. That's definitely a pink purple in my mind. I don't think it needs any of the other stuff added. So, and now my brush is a mess. <laughs> I really need to mix with one brush and then paint with another. I just, I see I'm a hobbyist. I never paint. I never get the free time to paint. I never get the free time to do art, which is why I wanted to start filming it here in the first place thinking, okay, if I film it, you know, I'll, I'll have to be allowed to sit down to do art and nope. Nope, even at this ripe old age. Nope, nope, not at all. So, anyway, that's, I think that color is good enough for me. It's definitely different. It's definitely different than, you know, that color. So, yeah, and it's definitely purple. I still think it's a bit red compared to that, but... Eh, whatever. Add some water here. Yeah, and see, I, I was a little bit worried about this. Um, this paint doesn't have any of the really extremely dried out Reeves acrylic in it. And it's just a bit more plastic-like. So I was worried I was going to have to do, like, several coats like I had to do on these just to try to make sure that it's not streaky and that it's not leaving streaks. Now, I don't know if I will do the other coats online here. I don't know if I'm going to film myself doing the other coats, but I will definitely, I promise, I will definitely try to film at least some of the removing of the tape because my favorite part is 
the removing of the tape and just seeing those beautiful, crisp, clean lines, you know, just shine through um, after all this messiness, <laughs> you know, after this, this horrible, horrible, there we go. Oh my God. I wasn't even on camera after all this horrible, horrible messiness, you know, just show these beautiful, clean lines. So while I'm at it, I might as well go to the other end and, uh, actually, no, you know, I'm going to, well, yeah, I am trying to do this, you know, I mean, it, this, this is going to be a recording that I upload, but essentially it is kind of live sort of. So I guess I'll go ahead and go to the other end right now and, uh, turn this whole thing, ooh, turn this whole, this whole bloody boat around and there we go. There we go. I'm not Scottish and I don't know why I said that, but. <laughs> There's this really hilarious, like a Saturday Night Live kind of thing from England where they were making fun of Star Trek with like the Scottish Star Trek. And I thought it was the most hilarious thing I ever saw. And I couldn't even make out like half what the actors were saying, but I managed to translate like the captain. And she said, you know, let's get this bloody boat going. <laughs> and I loved how they made a lady a captain. I was like, yeah, you know, apparently Carol Burnett, uh, she just had her like 90th celebration, you know, her 90th birthday celebration. And they did like a whole tribute to her, which I, I really liked that. I got to watch that the other night. That was interesting. But uh, she actually, I saw on YouTube an entire like skit that she did on her show of Star Trek. And it was, it was really, really good. It was really good. Yeah, that's where I got that saying, let's get this bloody boat moving. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I was like, wow, that's, I don't know what that means, but I do all at once. <laughs> well, that's, that's pretty good for now at the moment. I think I'll go ahead and this paint is so dry. It's drying while I'm using it. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to turn it around again and maybe I can be able to get a second coat on it in this, I'm going to call it a live stream, even though it's not, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just the, well, that's kind of tacky. Yeah, I'm doing it anyway. So yeah, I call this a live stream for me because there's no editing. I'm not going to edit it. <laughs> Even though technically it's very much not a live stream, this is a recording and, and I am going to have to upload it to YouTube. Um, yeah. There we go. There we go.
Wow, that's nice and thick. I don't think I'm going to have to put another coat on this one. No. I mean, I don't, I'd have to look at it from another angle, but I don't think I'm going to have to put another coat on. Wow. That's nice being able to finish this this quickly in one quick little sitting here. I mean, I don't, I don't think this video is even, yeah, it's only 20 minutes long. It hasn't even gone into an hour. Wow. In 20 minutes, I got like this whole thing finished. That is a miracle. I am so happy with that, that in 20 minutes I could get this whole thing. After all these months not being able to sit down and do it, putting it off when I had a chance, because, you know, there's other more important things to do than painting. There's dealing with juggling bills. <laughs> there's dealing with juggling paying things. There's dealing with juggling, you know, payment of doctors and medications and crap like that, you know, that just, you know, there's more important things to do. You know, the laundry is more important than this, but I am so glad that I did this. So now I have one side completely done and screw it. I'm going to go ahead and go and do the other side. And this, this is great. I'm getting it done. In this one last video, I am so glad. And this is a beautiful color, too. This is like the perfect pink purple. You know? I think, in my opinion, that is actually indigo. And this is actually magenta. You know? In my... Ooh. In my opinion. You know? <sighs> when you have to worry about purple and whatnot. So, okay. And on camera, this is showing up as really, really pink. And this is showing up as like a navy blue. So that... I'm not happy about that, but it is the way it is, and I I can't I can't do anything about any of it. So I forgive my camera for <laughs> wrongly, you know, color correcting. I guess is what it is. Ooh. Oh man, I painted over the purple up there. I gotta be more careful about this. Almost done. Almost done. And it looks like I'm going to be using up the magenta, too. I'm not going to really have much left, you know, which is totally different than the indigo, because the indigo was, uh, the indigo I had a whole lot of paint left over. But this magenta, I am really using up the last drop. And it looks like I'm not going to be able to get it too dark up here. I mean, I can try to get it nice and dark along. Add some water to this, see if it'll, I doubt, see if it'll help at all. Try to put more paint right up along that, I call it the bleeding edge. The two paints. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay. I think I'll try doing that with this one now, too. Sorry if you hear any any noise outside. I think kids are coming home from school or something. It's about that time. 
And it's a really, really gloomy day out, so I don't have any sunlight helping out the, uh, hold on. See, the, see, okay, I don't have any sunlight helping it out in here. See, this is why I was worried about adding water, because that does end up kind of lessening it. And, um, and right now it's at the point where it's like, I gotta let it dry or else it's just gonna get worse. So, okay. I'm just, I'm, oof, I'm attached. <laughs> oh God, that's like blood. The paint coagulated on my finger and now my finger's stuck to the... This paint really is like coagulation. It's really gross. I noticed that about acrylic paint. It's a bit too similar to blood. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna call that done. If if I do any touch-ups or anything, it's gonna be off camera, but the next time I film this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be peeling all of the tape off. So let me go ahead and give you a final, it's finished, and now all I have to do is pull the tape off shot here. Um, I'm gonna have to, oh no, that's that's getting it pretty good. Yeah. Okay. That's getting it really good, actually. So there we go. There's a final shot, you know, of the whole thing. It's all finished now. It's all done. So now all I got to do is peel the paint off. Yeah, the paint off. Peel the tape off and reveal the nice bright white lines that will be a sharp contrast against all this rainbow, which is what I was aiming for in the first place. So... Yeah, there we go. Um, I hope it looks good to to y'all, to y'alls. I don't know. I hope it looks good to everyone, um, to all you guys, you know, y'alls down south, you guys up north, um, to all yous out east, I guess. So yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, and I'll see you in the next video when this is all dry and everything. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.